Coming up on The Point, cadets head down to ESPN and the chairwoman of Xerox pays a visit to the Academy. Welcome to the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York. Home to 4,400 cadets. The oldest continuously occupied military post in the country, West Point sits on over 16,000 acres and is one of the largest school campuses in the world. The Long Gray Line has produced many great leaders, and here we will take an inside look into their world. I'm your host, Specialist Alexandria Cornero, and this is The Point. We'll talk about an exciting past few days. Anne Mulcahy paid a visit to West Point recently. The chairwoman of Xerox shared her leadership skills with cadets. And in other news, cadets and students from other academies learn the fine art of negotiation in a seminar on how to negotiate effectively. And some cadets boarded a bus and headed down to Connecticut to visit ESPN. They poured into the Sports Center studio to help anchors Hannah Storm and Josh Elliott with their broadcasts. Cadets also participated in the taping of Sports Nation and Baseball Tonight. Let's check it out. Over 20 West Point cadets headed to Connecticut to check out ESPN. To start off the day, cadets broke up into groups to sit in on some pre-production staff meetings to include Sports Nation, Sports Center, NFL Live, and Baseball Tonight. Cadets also got the opportunity to participate on Sports Center. They lined the walls as they helped sportscasters Hannah Storm and Josh Elliott with their daily countdown. They also joined in on ESPN's Sports Nation and Baseball Tonight. During the day-long visit, cadets enjoyed the opportunity of touring inside the sports channels, studios, and production rooms. Chairwoman and former Chief Executive Officer of Xerox Corporation, Anne Mulcahy, paid a visit to West Point to share her advice on leadership. So it's been an extraordinary day. I've had a chance to interact with cadets and many of the uh, academics here and speak to uh, one of the leadership classes. So just a terrific, uh, a terrific day. Chairwoman Mulcahy met with a group of cadets and shared with them her background and how her experience has developed her as a leader. Mulcahy, who joined the Xerox team in 1976, was selected by the Board of Directors for a position as the CEO in 2001. However, the job came with tasks piled a mile high, due to the fact that the company was in financial turmoil at the time. Mulcahy timelined the events that helped save the company and shared with cadets that she believes it was the duty and loyalty of all the employees that truly rescued Xerox. Characteristics that are also held in high esteem at the Academy. The combination of not just um, being able to be a little bit of a student today um, of leadership, but actually being able to sit down with some of the cadets and talk about their experiences has really made an impression on me and um, I, might, I might have been here today to really give a talk about leadership but I feel like I've walked away learning a lot about leadership. Chairwoman Mulcahy allowed cadets to plug away for knowledge by finishing the meeting with a question and answer period. You can't make up your mind, 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 mind. Negotiation is a useful skill to have in any aspect of your life. To prepare cadets for what they will face once they are commissioned, West Point held a negotiation conference. Over 60 cadets, midshipmen and service members participated in the conference held in the Hague Room of Jefferson Hall. The roster consisted of over 10 service academies to include the Royal Military College of Canada. The cadet-driven event paired the participants up with scenarios that they were required to resolve by coming to common ground. The event allowed the students to also learn from service members who've experienced negotiations out in the field. Always 
Hi, Ben. I'm Josephine Kim from Chicago, Illinois. And to answer your question of what the typical day at West Point is like, I either wake up around 5.30 or 6 o'clock, 5.30 if I want to go out for a run, for morning PT, or 6 if I need those extra few minutes of sleep. And we all go to breakfast formation at 6.50, and then we all eat breakfast from 7 to 7.15. And then we head out to classes at 7.30, and those last until noon. And classes are a lot of fun. I mean, you can be in academic buildings, or you can be outside for an outside class. You know, I toasted marshmallows today in my uh, mechanical engineering class, so that was pretty fun. Um, and we learn everything. Since I'm a human geography major, I like the broad spectrum we get here for my math and science classes as well. And then we all, after 12 o'clock, we eat lunch, um, all together in the mess hall. And then we head out to either a lecture during comms hour or um, a, a class test, which is during dean's hour, which is all after lunch. So the hour after lunch, uh, classes start up again. That lasts until 1600. And from 1600 till pretty much 1800, we have company athletics or IMs, um, club sports, core squad sports. So I did fencing my plebeian yuck year, so I went to that. And now I'm back in company athletics. And, or you can either do um, other activities such as debate, speech, or, um, an, or band. And I'm in the, the singing group here that we have, and so I do that. And after um, activities or your sports, we go have dinner. And that's either on your own, except for on Thursdays, which is mandatory spirit dinner. It's a nice time when we all have fun and dress up and just get to know each other more over some nice dinner. Um, and then after that is pretty much ESP, which is evening study period for the plebes and yucks. And a lot of uh, upperclassmen also do study during this time too. And so we just do our work, do papers, um, meet together for group projects. And that lasts until um, 23.30, which is TAPS. And then most of us usually go to bed. Or if you have to stay up doing more work, you can do that too. And also during the time from 7.30 till about uh, 9 o'clock, there's different groups that can meet. On Tuesdays, I know a lot of religious services meet. On Mondays, like um, you, you can do more activities such as like orchestra, um, kayaking, rock climbing. You know, all these different clubs. We probably you name it, we probably have it. So you'll definitely fit in whatever you do. Um, and then after um, ESP, is pretty much sleep and wake up and do the same thing. And so that lasts from Monday till Friday. And then on Saturdays. We can either have a Dean's uh, weekend, which is where we still stay in here and study because we may have finals coming up soon, and or we do um, comms weekend, which is military training. And so we go out to Buckner, go to the range, work on our marksmanship, um, plan ambushes. It's pretty much a good time to spend with your company and just get to know people, you know, enhance your leadership skills. So. Whatever we do here, um, it's all serving the purpose of becoming an officer. So um, I hope this answers your question for what we do on a regular day. Hey, hey. Be sure to join us next week as we check out the Sandhurst competition and the National Boxing Club Championship here at West Point. Well, that's it for this week's edition. I'm your host, Specialist Alexandria Cornero, and this is The Point. Outstanding. Bill's gonna hit us up with some music. Leave it. And I'm sure I'm missing a step. Isn't there? I think so. You know the Macarena though. Google it. Everyone knows the Macarena, but I'm not going to do it. Yes, you are. Do you know the hustle or the electric slide? I do. I'm an electric slide pro. I'm at every wedding. You should check me out. I'm at all the weddings. I'm not about to fall off the leg. <laughs> it's got two big um, heel marks on them now. <laughs> I feel like my feet are bleeding. They're begging for mercy to come out of these pointy toed shoes. Yeah. These shoes are so painful. Do you know why? Because it feels like you're getting ready to ski, but you're not, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like. like. That's what wearing heels is like. Shh. I'm so close to going down the slope, but I'm not. <laughs> this week, as we check out the national... What? What happened? Didn't I'm sorry. Be sure to join us next week as we check out the... Again, Jonas. Don't judge me.
<laughs> Give me, you need to tell me how you want me to say it. You need to say, say the sentence and then I can pick it up. Maybe like, yeah, there's something, there's something just weird about that. Ah! Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. You're not happy? Okay. Boy, you are really turning into a director. Later, stud muffin. <laughs>